Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing the Power of Makeup video. It was originally done by Nikki Tutorials. I'll go ahead and leave her channel and her video down below. I wasn't originally going to do this video. Um, I actually saw Patrick Starr's video, which inspired me to do it because we are both guys. So I feel like our transformation is a little different and a little bit more drastic, I guess, in a way. Because like a girl, at least she's still a girl. But just more like a done up girl but like a guy like we kind of look i don't know i don't know um i just felt like it was a little bit different i guess for a power of makeup on a guy but i'm not going to be sharing with you folks what i'm doing throughout the video i'm kind of going to be sharing with you folks my story and how i got to where i am today with makeup um, so if you are interested in any particular part of the video, let me know in the comment section. I can definitely do a designated designated video just for that. And sorry if I'm sounding a little congested. I'm, I'm like I'm like in the middle of a cold. I don't know if I just got sick because I would not be filming this video. When I first got sick, I was like down in bed. I could not move. Um, so but I'm not completely done being sick. I'm kind of like in the middle. And I do have a stiff neck, so if I'm turning my neck weird, like, that's why. Because I can't fully turn my neck. But I really, really want to film a video for you folks, so I thought, what the heck, I'm gonna just suck it up and do it for you folks. But yeah, if you want to see my power of makeup and my journey, and hear my journey, then keep watching. I just want to first start off by saying that I absolutely absolutely just i'm in love with makeup um i think makeup is so amazing and you can do pretty much anything and everything that you want to do and that is the beauty about makeup is that it's nothing permanent it's not surgery it's not a tattoo it's there when you want it but it doesn't need to be there forever. And I think that's where people get the most misunderstood by it. Is that like when I intensely contour. And I'm sorry I might have had a bad hand day that day. So I didn't go blending for the gods. But if I wear an intense contour one day on accident. And maybe sometimes I will do that on purpose. Because I do like me an intense harsh contour. But that's what I like, you know, and that's what I want to do. And or sometimes I'll wear really dark brows Like my brows are like on point, on fleek, and they're like killing it. And people are just like, oh, your brows are too dark. Oh, because I personally don't like the feathered outlook where the lighter where it's lighter in the front and darker in the end. Like, I know some people, like, like they'll just, like, color the top and color the bottom and leave the middle empty and then just fill in all, like, from the middle down. But I don't like that. I just want my whole eyebrow to be just filled in, darkened, big, bold. I love big, bold brows. And that's just my thing. And some people are like, or how much makeup I wear. Like, they're like, oh, you wear too much makeup. And it's like, it's not permanent you know let me do my thing let me wear how much makeup i want to wear and at the end of the day i can wipe it off i can go back to me and i love the skin i'm in so it's not about loving either side of my face more i love how i look natural and i feel like sometimes it's kind of more comforting being natural because i do live in a smaller town so for me to be fully beat for the golds not, not much people do that not much people here do the most and i think people who live in a smaller town can kind of understand where i'm coming from when i say that people are very minimum here from their style to their makeup i'm not saying they're basic i'm just saying it's minimum it's nothing like over the top people don't do the most when it comes to makeup like if you see how much makeup i wear and how intense and how in I go boo like you can know that I'm definitely gonna get stares and I think it took a while for me to really 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 get 
thick skin and be comfortable with myself and let people look and let people stare and be like, yes, go take my picture. It gonna last longer, boo. Like, you know, like it takes a while to get thick skin. And I was very insecure growing up. Um, and I'm gonna say for people who are younger and are still in high school, it's gonna feel rough and it's gonna feel like the world is coming to an end. And I know that sounds dramatic to older people, but when you're younger, that's literally how it feels. You feel like these insecurities are gonna follow you forever. But you just have to keep remembering that this too shall pass. You know, eventually, once you find, I will say, once you find confidence in yourself and love you for you, who you are and the skin you are in, like no matter what you think may be wrong with you, you are beautiful and once you realize that the world is your playground and you can do anything and i'm not gonna say it was easy and it's easy to do but once you do it the world is your playground and like i said you can do anything and you can do everything you can experiment experiment with makeup and not have to worry you can go out looking like a clown because you love this blush color and you just packed it on and you like it but people are judging but you like it and it's not gonna bring you down my first product that i bought was a mac powder foundation and i was so insecure with wearing makeup i couldn't even buy it my friend had to go and put the powder swatches on her finger then come walk over to my hand and swatch it on my hands to help me pick a color and i couldn't buy it like i said she had to buy it for me and um every time i needed a new one i had to call her and be like oh can you pick me up a product and it was just crazy and then in where i'm from we don't have ulta we don't have sephora and our macy's doesn't have a bunch of different products so um i was only exposed to mac and later after i graduated high school um i moved to oahu it's still in the state of hawaii but just a different island and they had a sephora so you know i was in heaven um so i was definitely trying new brands and the second product i remember buying was a black eyeshadow for my eyebrows and oh my was that a mistake um i look back at pictures and my brows are like sharpie brows and i still have really intense brows but i definitely think they're toned down a bit kind of sort of maybe not really but whatever i like it i don't care i'm gonna do me and you do you boo um but yeah i definitely took some time to learn how to do different things you all know i'm not a makeup artist so i definitely took time and experimenting with different products to find out what works for me um my second i mean sorry my third makeup product and my third and fourth were nars products and nars powder foundation and nars bronzer if you go back like back 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 in the instagram post I actually posted these two products so i was so excited because you all know that nars was not cheap so to be able to buy those two things with my own money was just so satisfying and it was really i don't want to say a big moment in my life but you know like you get the gist like that's kind of how it felt which is like a milestone to where i felt comfortable actually buying makeup and all through high school when I did wear powder foundation, I would tell people I'm not wearing foundation. Like, I was so insecure. And um, I know when I started experimenting with products, I would meet people with a full face done. And sometimes I'll take it off and they'll see what I look like. And there was one person who told me that they would not be seen in public with me without makeup on. They didn't realize that that's not what I look like. Keep in mind, back then, all I wore was powder foundation, a little bronzer, and some brows. That is it. Um, but it made me really insecure about my natural face. And I began to love it you know and i i like i said there's no side that i like better i like that both sides of my face equally like i think i look gold not to toot my own horn but it's just something you need to have within yourself to just really find confidence and to 
allow people to say whatever they want and be like, okay, I'm done. And at first, growing up and when you're insecure, sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but words will never hurt me. It's a big lie. Because words hurt way more. They get stuck in your head and they're on repeat over and over and over. But once you are secure with yourself and you love the skin you're in and no one can bring you down, sticks and stones may hurt my bones but words will never hurt me is totally true. Because people can say whatever they want. And so if there's anything that you folks can take from this video is that Take time. Take time to grow. Take time to experience different things and try new things. And don't be afraid. Don't let what people say bring you down. Um, know that I'm here for you. There's other people here for you. And when you feel you're alone, just know that there are people who care about you and who are there for you and you can talk to them you can talk to me girl i have social media you know the power of social media just write to me and i'll be there for you like no joke so anyway i hope you folks like this video please make sure to subscribe stick around for more videos give this video a big thumbs up and until next time bye